Hi guys. So I am a, I guess a tea connoisseur and I just got some new tea. I'm bored, I'm on break from law school. So I figured I would maybe try my hand at creating a blog. So anyway, I just subscribed to new tea. It's uh, Atlas Tea Club and I just got my tea in the mail. And so I wanna check out kind of what's in here. It's really kind of fancy. I received like two different types of tea from Indonesia. Um, so we've got this one tea and it is Twisted Leaf Red. And then I received Rolling Leaf Alone. Um, what else is in here? We actually have, oh look, a postcard from Indonesia and also some notes on their types of teas and then what is this the history of Indonesia's tea and the process and everything so really cool they even gave me some tea bags so I'm going to try um, to steep it I wonder if I put this inside of here, if I put the tea inside of here. I think these are disposable tea bags. That's what I think. And I think this is maybe like just a normal tea bag. I don't know. I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna use this one. Anyway, uh, you're supposed to be able to steep this tea several times. So I'm gonna use my little teapot here that I got from Tea Forte. Um, I'm a little upset because I broke the tip off of it, but all my other teapots are in storage and I'm just too lazy to order a new one. So anyway, I'm going to use my new Keurig that my daughter bought me for Christmas and I'm just going to put some hot water in here and then I will steep. I guess I will try the twisted leaf tonight. I'm just feeling a little froggy and... See what it looks like so that's what it looks like I don't know if you can see that um see what it smells like it smells really good so the twisted leaf leaf sorry twisted leaf red is a pure black tea um so I want to first try it without like any cream or any honey or any sugar or anything. It says that there are caramel malt, malt and plum notes on it. So we'll see. I'm gonna put like a teaspoon, which is what they recommend. About a teaspoon in there, in the little tea bag. So maybe that gives you a better view of it and I'm just gonna put it in the tea bag and draw it and then I have my teapot of water and we're gonna steep it and we'll see how that turns out um, I really like the tea for tea teapots because they have these cute little tops and so you can put like the top on it so I'll let that steep for a little bit and then I have a little tea for tea cup and we'll see how that goes I like these packages because I'm like neurotic when it comes to like storage and things like that so I like resealable bags this has a resealable bag on it so that makes me happy so I'm trying tea from Indonesia and I'll be back after it's done steeping and let you know how it tastes so I have steeped this for five minutes and just looking at the color of my tea, which I'm gonna show you here. I think that I maybe didn't use enough tea leaves for the amount of water that goes into my teapot. But just for the sake of this, like um, this true review, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna taste it like this. 
Um, I didn't put any sugar or any creams or anything in it. Um, so I can already tell, look, I like my teas like a really deep color. So I can already tell from this that it's probably not gonna be flavorful enough for me. I could be wrong though, but we'll see. Surprisingly, it does have some flavor in it. It's not as potent as I would like. Um, it's really good, just naturally without any sugars or creams or honey or anything. Um, and I didn't say this uh, before I tasted it, but it is Twisted Leaf Red, which is a pure black tea. Uh, it's recommended to be steeped for four to five minutes, which I steeped mine for five minutes. I think my teapot is a bit more than eight ounces of water, which might be why the tea isn't as potent as I would like. But it's really, really smooth. It does, I do taste the sweet caramel undertones to it. I do like the fact that I can steep this two to three times. Um, I think the next time I steep it, I'm gonna probably do two tablespoons, or I'm sorry, two teaspoons as opposed to one, but it's a really good tea. Um, I definitely recommend it. Really calming. So I guess out of five, I'd give this maybe a three, but that's probably more user error. I will review again once I've had an opportunity to get a more potent flavor by adding more tea leaves.